So cryptocurrency currently here, it would appear uh, continued uh, interest in blockchain technology from governing bodies and or multi-billion dollar entities in the traditional world of finance, monopoly money. Uh, we have uh, the one of the largest banks in Germany valued uh, as of 2018 around 462 billion euros roughly the price of a grande latte drop a like on the video if you like the video and be sure to subscribe now we have cardano here it would appear under the influence of bearish parameters we've been out of the market ever since the 8th of april and we've been saved from 14 percent in downside with a third uh, rebel advisor bearish here it would appear uh we do anticipate continued interaction toward the strongest level of support and we just are awaiting for the return of uh, bullish parameters similar to the buy for and golden cross combination throughout march and uh, perhaps the super buy and buy for combination throughout july of 2021 uh, at the moment bearish parameters have returned uh, similar to potentially the sell for and bearish cross back in September of 2021 which has uh, saved us from a crippling 66% correction that followed uh, we were patiently waiting for uh, you know our bullish parameters to return for us to re invest into cardano more comfortably we were not buying at these instances where the buy for came into play because we need two of our chosen three robo advisors becoming bullish to invest based on engineering robo so we invest 20 percent at support 30 percent when the daily candle opens and closes above the descending trend line and 50 percent when engineering robo becomes bullish so uh, the strongest level of support down below is uh, sadly going to be the dreaded 34 cent level all the way uh, down there waiting for us if we were to continue our way down we have these uh, dotted lines here 84 cents uh, could be an interaction point we are not uh, you know eager to get in at that level because we need further confirmations of support found at that price uh, before even you know considering it as strong enough support uh, resistance overhead one dollar and five cents similar to 84 cents merely a pivot point an area we will interact with the strongest level of resistance overhead will be one dollar and 31 cents based on my support and resistance strategy if daily candles open and close above one dollar and 31 cents we can invest 20 percent at that support level or at 34 cents whichever one comes first and that remaining 30% will be invested when daily candles open and close back above the descending trend line. We always go with the flow of crypto and watch out for engineering robo. Let me know your thoughts on uh, Cardano. Um, so Commerce Bank, one of the largest banking institutions in Germany, has confirmed it applied for a local crypto license earlier this year marking the first time a major bank has made a move toward cryptocurrencies in the country. A spokesperson for the bank confirmed that it applied for the crypto custody license in the first quarter of 2022. If approved, it would be authorized to offer exchange services along with custody and protection of crypto assets. Commerce Bank serves over 18 million customers and over 70,000 institutional clients, and the cryptocurrency offering will reportedly target its institutional client base. Commerce Bank has seen involvement in blockchain projects as far back as 2018 and carried out some of the first transactions on a distributed ledger technology security lending platform with other major banks the following year. Um, so, I mean, uh, this looks like it's not the first time for this bank to be getting involved in blockchain technology, but this would be the first time it's made a serious move toward it. Looking back at Ethereum, here it would appear, uh, we have the Buy4, Golden Cross, and Super Robo Advisors in play. With the Buy4 and Golden Cross back in July of 2021, we saw 58% in upside over the following month with that same combination of robo advisors in uh, October of 2021 to November, we saw 37% in upside and uh, bearish parameters met from this combination of robos uh, saved us from a crippling 50% uh, correction that followed. Well, 
49.63% in downside over the following months after bearish parameters met in November of 2021. Um, so now we do have an interaction with, uh, you know, the buy for and golden cross here recently where we did experience, uh, you know, a quick 14% in gains over the following week toward my resistance level after bullish parameters met. But going with the flow of crypto and engineering robo, we have uh, reduced our position relative to the supercell and sell for uh, bearish robo advisors returning. Uh, we have already invested 20% at my support level all the way, uh, you know, back in technically January. Uh, we invested 30% when the daily candle opened and closed above the descending trend line. We, um, you know, capitalized on upside at my resistance level, $3,414 per Ethereum. And so after what appears to be a significant rejection off of it, uh, we are watching out for continued resistance at that level. And with bearish parameters in play, we are looking for continued interaction towards support uh, along the way. $2,711 could catch us here and slap us around, but uh, the aforementioned $2,320 level, my support line we invested in back in January, is going to be the strongest horizontal level waiting for us in any sort of continued downside. But we always go with the flow of crypto and watch out for engineering robo. We have the buy for moon and bull looking at Bitcoin here, it would appear, uh, we all know. Uh, we have reduced our position accordingly relative to bearish robo advisors ever since the 8th of April with the sell for and heck returning. And uh, we've been, you know, saved from this ridiculous sideways, uh, you know, short term downside of about 8%. And now we've returned to uh, relative levels to uh, bearish parameters met here within 1% at the moment within the uh, pink range of stink. This, uh, you know, zone here between 40 and $42,000 per Bitcoin is just a hilarious uh, zone we've visualized and we are looking for continued interaction with with bearish robo advisors here, we do anticipate continued interaction, uh, you know, potentially downward toward the uh, strongest level of support. My descending trend line could uh, save us along the way, uh, or $34,655 per Bitcoin is still going to be the strongest horizontal level, in my opinion, uh, waiting for us in any sort of continued downside. And I uh, would not be the um, you know, would not be the worst thing if we were to experience a third interaction with it. And we've been hypothesizing it ever since uh, March with this uh, continued upward momentum. It was becoming less likely, but it is crypto. And so everyone must get uh, slapped around eventually. But, uh, you know, we go with the flow of the market. We don't know where it goes or where to start it. Um, and so if you've been following the channel, we've been, uh, you know, potentially speculating a six figure Bitcoin and uh, based on current analysis, it would appear that is still the case. $180,000 per Bitcoin is going to be a far more reasonable top. In my opinion, that is suggested with the FOMO zone here. We use the fear and FOMO zones to determine longer term entries and exits uh, with Bitcoin. We've been, uh, you know, in the market using the fear zone ever since April of 2020, roughly 406 years ago tomorrow. And we've experienced roughly 10x in upside and we have yet to see the FOMO zone. Uh, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, take some profits up in that range. We highly recommend you consider, uh, you know, taking profits. Nothing wrong with capitalizing on upside here um, because many traders will be buying at that level. Extreme FOMO will be present, afraid of missing out, but someone has to buy the top. Hopefully not yourself because you're accumulating here during times of extreme fear near the fear zone. Uh, better yet, in the fear zone, technically around uh, you know, roughly $36,000 per Bitcoin. An interaction with the fear zone would be very bullish, in my opinion. And an overall uptrend does seem to be still intact relative to, uh, you know, a very basic support level strategy. If you were to, um, you know, buy, you know, draw a range here, higher lows, higher highs. We printed some very bullish all time highs within that, you know, 60K range. I do believe, uh, you know, far more upside is to be had based on current price action, but always going with the flow of crypto and watching out for engineering robo. Let me know your thoughts down below on uh, Bitcoin and crypto. Thank you so much for hearing my analysis. 
Uh, check out Engineering Robo for free with a link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube and tune in for the next one.